Hello, my name is Jamila with Latte Wellness Group. I am African American and Nigerian. I speak two languages. I speak English and Hausa fluently. I graduated from the University of Maryland with my undergrad, and then I graduated from Walden University with my um, master's in clinical mental health. I have been in the field for a little over four and a half years. I mainly work with um, adults, teens, and a little bit of um, our older population, typically with people that struggle with anxiety, depression, trauma, and substance use issues. My love for mental health therapy um, started when I was in high school. I was introduced to a teacher that had a doctorate in psychology, and he fascinated me. Not only was I fascinated by him, but I started to see a need within myself, within the community, within people that look like me. Um, and as I got into the field, I really started to see that there was an alignment of what I thought was needed and what is needed. I, don't know, I just love what I do. I, I like, I don't know. <laughs> it feels good to sit in front of somebody, to have them talk to you. And it's an honor to have somebody trust you with their life. You know, like that, there's no greater honor, like having children, yes, right? But like to be able to sit across from somebody and have them trust you and tell you the things that they don't even tell people that they see on a day to day, it's, I don't know. <laughs> In my free time, I love to read. I like Stephen King novels. I have probably read all of them. My latest one is Insomnia. And I like to Netflix a little bit, but not too much. My clinical specialties are in anxiety, depression, and trauma. Those are the populations that I have most experience with, and they have been the clientele that I've worked with firsthand. Okay. Yeah. So the modalities that I specifically like to use are... Um, they fall all under the umbrella of cognitive behavioral therapy. You have rational emotive behavioral therapy. I do like using um, narrative therapy because it really allows you to get in there to understand the person. Um, I do like using techniques such as like um, Socratic questioning, um, uh, implementing cognitive coping skills, emotional regulation. You are choosing a person that is going to see you and that's going to honor you. A person that is not afraid to discuss the topics that you've hid from your family, your friends. A person that will never judge you. I offer unconditional positive regard no matter what. You are the person that I see. You are the person that I deal with. And you are the person that is trusting me on your journey. Um, three books. I really enjoy the uh, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Joseph Dispenza. Also by Joseph uh, Dispenza, You Are Placebo, and then Finding Me by Viola Davis. Those are books that I've really found profound and powerful in my journey. I have worked as a school-based counselor for about three years, servicing high schools, middle schools, and I've also worked as a clinic-based clinician, um, working with um, older adults, teens, and adolescents. Most of my clientele struggled with depression, anxiety, um, ADHD, some behavioral um, issues, depression, and um, trauma, and a bit of substance abuse. What I enjoy most about being a therapist is watching my clients step into themselves. I enjoy watching the journey and that moment of realization that, wow, my value, my worth, none of these things are negotiable. I think 
I stay motivated day to day to continue my job because I really love people. I love watching people grow and recognize their growth. I also practice self-care. I take care of myself. I realize when I don't have mental capacity to do something and I implement boundaries. The same strategies that I have tried and tested are the same strategies that I try to teach my clients. Assessing client progress, a lot of it is based on self-report and therapist observation. So I typically tend to like to small uh, set small goals, which are attainable, you know, achievable for the clients. If you can achieve a small goal, then you feel accomplished. So the goal is to have a client feel accomplished, let them tell me how they feel like they're doing, and then throw in some reflective questioning. So I left Latte Wellness to increase my knowledge in other areas and to really go into the school system because I wanted to like practice school-based therapy and just like broaden my horizons and add more to my therapeutic handbag. Um, after some time with that agency, I came back to Latte Wellness because I really look for a home and Latte Wellness felt like a home to me. It felt like a big family. You feel supported. Um, I don't think that there's anything that I've ever looked for that hasn't been given to me at Latte Wellness. A food I can eat any day, but I know dad won't well it's not good for me. Uh, it has to be like pounded yam with some spinach. But uh, in the in the year 2024, when everybody is worried about their body, right? I don't know. Like my go-to is like maybe some pepper soup. You know, I enjoy pepper soup, pounded yam with spinach, maybe a little farina with um, okra soup. My advice to anyone starting therapy for the first time is to really be honest with yourself. What are you looking for? What do you want to achieve? What does this journey look like? Am I okay with the person that's taking this journey with me? And if you're not, it is okay to find someone else that is suitable to walk your path with you.